So let's create the class for SQL Alchemy to use. Uh, so let's get back here. I don't know why, how this got open. Let's go get back here and create database models.py. Now this models is for the Python tick. This is for the database, for the SQL Alchemy. Okay. And I'm so lazy. I'll just copy this because this will be same. I mean, not exactly same, similar. And uh, this will change. Now, this was base model from Pydentic. Instead of using Pydentic base model, I want to use base from SQL Alchemy. Now, how SQL Alchemy will know that this product is supposed to be linked with table or database? It's because of this base. Now, what is this base? This is not an inbuilt keyword, uh, but you have to use something called base equal to declarative base. And this thing you have to import. So this function will create the base for you, which you can use to inherit your class. But you need to import this. So from SQL Alchemy dot extension dot from declarative, it will import declarative base. Okay, certain things you have to remember. So declarative base comes from this. And once you get this object, you can basically, or once you get this class, you can pass it here. And if you go to base, Declarative base. I'm just checking the documentation. Okay, coming back here. So once you got this, you now this class is ready to be mapped to the tables. But then this will not work. We have to do some changes here. So instead of specifying the type, we have to actually assign the type to it. So you will say id equal to, and now we have to specify something called column in which you have to specify all different values. Is it an uh, integer or a string or is it a primary key or not? Or do you want to do indexing or not? So those things you can do with the help of column. And that's why it is different from the model class, the Pydentic model. But you need to import this. So from SQL Alchemy, we'll import, we need column. Now we'll also be using the type. So let's import that as well, which is integer. Apart from integer, we are going to use two more types, which is string and float. Now, if you remember in the models, in fact, here itself, so we got string and float and int. So we'll import those things here and this particular class, which is column. So here let's pass in the constructor. The first thing you have to pass is it's of type integer. Then you have to specify, do we have to use primary key? This is a primary key. Yes, true. T should be capital. And do you want to do indexing as well for faster processing? I will say yes. On the primary key, there should be. So this is how basically you create the primary key. Just by mentioning primary equal to true. And for the other columns, we don't have to mention everything else. Just column and the type for it. This will be of type string. And you have a choice of adding the indentation for this as well. Or indexing for this as well. So we'll be using equal to column of type string column of type i think it was float and column of type integer so these things we need here and also you can basically create or you can add a table name here so you can say table name which uh, the uh, SQL Alchemy we used for storing so you can have the same name product or if you want to have something else you can add it here uh, I'll get, I will go with the same name, product. And I think that's it. This looks cool. Now, once we have defined our model, I'm expecting that this should reflect in my database. Okay. Uh, let's see. First of all, we are not running the front end and back end. Both are in the stop state, is it? No, front end is still running. The back end is stopped. I can just run the back end. Okay, backend is running. And now I can go back to my database. We are using Post, uh, Postgres and this is PG Admin. And if you are not logged in here, you can basically click here. It will ask you for your password. Just, just enter that. And then scroll down to your database. So the database we are using is Salisco. And make sure you have database because SQL Alchemy is not going to create database. It is going to use database and create tables. So create that table or database by yourself. You can right click here and say create database, simple stuff. Once you get this database here, expand and go to schemas. This is where you will find the schemas. And in schemas, scroll down, go to tables. And this is where you will see the tables. But even if I refresh, the tables are not there. We have done the mapping, right? Table, why tables are not there? Because nowhere we have mentioning that, hey, SQL Alchemy, you have to create a table. We have to mention that somewhere. So where do we do it? Let's go back to main. And let's specify somewhere that, hey, you are responsible to create the tables. 
And the way you can do that is by using the database model. Okay, do we have to import database models? Yes. So, so import database models. Okay. And once you have database models, you can use your base. Now, base will say, okay, my, my job here was to do the inheritance part and I have done that. Apart from it, you can also get the metadata of that particular class product. Now, how do you get the metadata? You just use the metadata and based on the metadata. So in this metadata, you'll be having a table name, you'll be having the column names, you'll be having a type of it. And based on it, you will say create all. So whichever class inheriting base, just create the table. And then you will say binding will be with the engine. There are multiple ways you can do the binding. You can do with the help of connections and stuff. But we are using engine, which we have created here uh, in the database. This is the engine. But this is giving error because we are not importing engine. So from database, you have to also import engine. Okay, now this line will create the tables for you. But we are seeing error here. Oh, looks like this should be small. I don't know why I've written capital I there. Okay, looks good. No problem now. The server is running. But I want to verify that by going to the database. Let's refresh the table and voila, you can see we got a table. In this table, we got the columns. In this column, we got ID name. In fact, the best way to see this is by uh, right clicking on the product and say view. You can write the SQL query as well, but I'm lazy. So I'll say view data, all rows, and you got your table here. You can say we got ID, name, description, price, and quantity. And look at the types as well. Additionally, this is a primary key. Perfect. So table got created, but table is empty. So this is a query it is executing, but the table is empty. You know what we have to do now? We have to basically save all this default data in the database so that we can fire the query. How do we do that? Uh, let's do see that in the next video. Bye-bye.